what I did in this appointment is nagbiometrics lang ako for my removal of conditions. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning! Andito ako sa labas ng Application Support Center ng USCIS here in Fort Worth. And I just got out sa appointment ko. So, my appointment was 8am. And when I got here, it was like around 7.56. And then pagdating ko, oh my god, sobrang haba ng pila. And this, unfortunately, sobrang lamig pa. Tapos... Sobrang windy. So, ah, na, sabang ginaw. 37 degrees today. <sighs> so, yun nga, kakatapos ko lang. So, wow. I, wow. I, wow. I, I, this appointment is, nagbiometrics lang ako for my removal of conditions. So, if you don't know yet, I made a video previously. I think it was like 2018. I made a video. I shared a video about my K-1 visa experience. So that being said, I came to US through Fiancé K-1 visa or K-1 Fiancé visa. And <clears throat> from then on, I processed my work permit and advanced parole together with my ad adjustment of status which is um application for two years conditional green card so yon and now since my two years conditional green card has expired so now i applied for my 10 years green card or removal of conditions so before nag expire yung ano ko, yung two years green card ko, um, I think because nag expire yung ano ko eh, um, January, let me check. So yung green card ko, mag expire siya yung two years ha. Mag expire siya ng January 23rd. So I think around October. Or se late September, they sent a mail saying that it's a reminder na mag magi expire na yung two years green card ko. So after kasi na adjustment of status, tapos mag bago mag expire two years green card mo, you have ninety days to apply for removal of conditions. Kasi kung hindi, baka pwede ka ma-deport or you know, unless you have valid reason bakit na-delay ka pag-apply ng removal of conditions. So, ganito kasi yun pagkakasunod-sunod. So, first is K-1 Fiancé Visa tapos pag na-approve yung K-1 Fiancé Visa mo, tatatakan yung passport ng visa. Yung kasunod naman yan is mag a apply kayo so, hold on so, when you come here to the States you have 90 days to get married and after getting married, mag apply kay ng adjustment of status, which is for your two years green card, and also called as remo um, removal, permanent resident with conditions, yun, or conditional green card. Ganun siya. So, two years lang yung validity niya. When I applied mine, I applied it together with my work permit and advance parole. So, yung purpose ng work permit and advance parole is for you to work here na while processing pa lang yung green card mo, yung 2 years green card or adjustment of status application. And then your advance parole naman is for like let's say you have an emergency or you have any travel plans abroad or outside the US you can do so kasi yun yung purpose ng advance parole. Para pagbalik mo dito 
kahit wala ka pang green card, you can still come back and enter US without any hassle as long as hindi masyado matagal kayo sa labas ng US. And work permit and advance parole is called combo card kasi isang card lang silang dalawa. Especially, um, I think kung sabayin mo siyang i-apply but if not, if work permit lang, so work permit lang siya. Pero we usually call it combo card kasi dalawa yan eh. Work permit at saka advance parole. So, yun. So, what? So, I got my work permit in advance parole parang 3 months or less than 3 months since I applied my or since I submitted my application for adjustment of status. Tapos yung sorry, tingin ako nung tingin dito guys ah. Kasi nagmamasid-masid din ako. Just to make sure na wala nakatingin sa akin dito. May nakapark pa naman dito sa akin malapit. Pero parang busy naman si kuya sa cellphone niya. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yun nga. Sana ba ako? Ah, dal-dal ko. Yun, alam sana ako. So, yun nga. Um, kung pagsasabay mo yung work yung adjustment of status at pag-submit ng work permit at saka ano advance parole oh gosh nasa tapat ko talaga sila nag-park ah, time check 8.45 hmm, can you please hurry up bala kayo dyan. so anyway yun nga so yung adjustment of status ko actually it the process took like a year Yes, to almost took a year. And I don't know why, but long. I don't know with USCIS. But anyway, nag-work na ako habang naka-process pa yung adjustment of status ko. By the way, I forgot to mention guys na it took me like almost a year bago ako nag-submit ng adjustment of status kasi nanganak ako. Tapos nag-ipon-ipon din kami kasi hindi naman ganun ka affordable yung fees tapos magsasubmit ka pa tapos magagather ka pa ng applications and also meron din pala kaming ano, co-sponsor pa rin during my application ng adjustment of status or 2 years green card kasi nakatara pa rin naman kami sa ano sa amin ang petitioner ko uh, sa co-sponsor ko Yun. Yeah, which is yung mama ni hubby. So, after ng 2 years green card, pag nag-interview ka na ng 2 years green card mo, so yun na, meron ka ng 2 years green card, meron ka ng green card. Kaya siya tinatawag na green card kasi kulay green siya. But yes, you will have your 2 years permanent residency per conditional pa siya. So, pag malapit na mag-expire, you have 90 days prior the expiration date to process your or to submit your application for removal of conditions which is pag na-approve siya 10 years green card na actually merong iba din na while, during their adjustment of status yung iba maswerte na nakapag ano na na-approve ng 10 years green card agad-agad so diba pero hindi tayo sa mga isa sa mga pinalad so Keri na. <laughs> Inig talaga ako guys. Goodness. Wala pa akong thermal. Isang layer lang. Tapos da, to lang. Turtleneck at saka black leather jacket lang. Tapos nakamaong lang ako. Naka-jeans lang ako. At saka short cut boots. Or short low cut boots. So yeah, yung sa akin, I submitted my application I think early January. Tapos yung nakasad pa nun kasi may mga balita la, er, late last year bago mag ano, bago mag Christmas na mag i-increase na nga daw yung mga, aplik, mga application fees. So sabi ko, oh my god, yung iipunin ko mas more pa. So, but anyway, during pag-process ko, same pa lang naman, uh, I think I sent a personal check $680. So that includes the application fee for the removal of conditions and biometrics fee so which is what I came here for today dito sa application support center so yeah I submitted mine I think two weeks prior or or ano uh, parang two weeks prior eh parang 
first week ng January, second week ng January ako nag-submit talaga ng application. Bali yung sinan ko na yung application ko through mail. The following week, I, I received a text message. I think it's a text message at saka email telling me na na-accept na nila yung application ko. And then, I think pagkasunod din nun, hindi ko na kasi matanda yung exact dates. Basta, in less than two weeks, na-receive ko na yung acceptance. In for acceptance notification kasi I included G1145 which is yun yung form na gagamitin if gusto mo makareceive ng notification whenever they receive your application. The mission shon 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 shon. Basta mga parang 3 days after lang yata. Basta same same week lang siguro yun. Hindi ko sure. Kasi si Habi na yung naka-receive ano, naka, naka, naka ng mail ko that I got my extension. My extension letter. Yes. So, pag na, kasi na-expire na, na ba So, kakailanganin mo ng extension letter para if in case na bali yun yung magiging proof mo na nag-submit ka na ng application at saka ano din. Like, kunwari, may immigration officer na maghahanap sa'yo, hahanapan ka ng green card mo or any immigration proof or ID, yun yung ipoprovide mo. Kasi, expire na nga yung 2 years green card. And, to prove na nag-submit ka na din ng application mo for the removal of conditions. I don't know how long it will take my removal of conditions, pero... Usually sa mga naririnig ko na lala, na ano ko sa ibang mga nag-apply na parang it takes a year yata but we'll see I'll keep you I'll keep you updated guys with my process and I think when it comes to my removal of conditions requirements sasabihin ko sa inyo mamaya pagdating natin sa bahay kasi I, th I really have to leave now nasa bahay lang si Mikael at saka si Hobby they were sleeping nung umalis ako kanina kasi kakauwi lang din ni Javi around 4am from work yes, ano siya graveyard shift yung asawa ko guys but, you know, I think we're gonna grab some breakfast if gising na sila pagdating ko hopefully, I'm thinking of getting them donuts pero, hmm ayoko na kasi masyadong mag sweets tumataba na ako sumisikip na yung mga damit Oh, goodness. Yung mga checklist ko, tsaka yung letter na sinabay ko, at tsaka kung paano ko siya prepare, I'll tell you later on today to share with you how I process or how I prepared my application for resident, no, application for removal of condition. Conditions? Condition? Build. Petition to remove conditions on residents. I think last week na-receive ko tong letter nila through mail. So, yan. Madaming tao, guys. Sobrang mamig. Tapos, yung papunta ko dito, oh my God, ang traffic, nakakatakot. Actually, sabi ni Javi, gusto niya ipag-drive niya ako. Pero, yun nga, nauri naman ako kasi nga, maaga siyang kakauwi lang niya at 4 a.m. Tapos, magda-drive pa siya. Wala siya masyadong tulog. So, sabi ko, it's okay. I can drive myself there. And, you know, once it's done, I'll just be home. So, yun nga, yung nangyari today sa application support center, grabe na walang break break yung bibig ko. So, yun nga, um, pag pila ko, pasok na, tapos si check-in kayo. So, during check-in, I mean, before that, guys, huwag kayong magdala ng cameras. Tapos, as much as possible, I iwan nyo na lang din dito. Kung magdadala kayo ng sasakyan, iwan nyo na yung phones nyo sa sasakyan. I-silent nyo na lang para hindi marinig ng mga nakapalibot or ang tawag dun. Nung dumadaan ng mga tao para, you know, huwag nakawin yung phones nyo sa loob ng sasakyan. So, i-silent nyo na lang. So, I left my camera here. Kaya, hindi ako nag-vlog sa loob. Kasi, bawal talaga siya. Bawal mag-tick ng pictures. Bawal mag-video. At saka, kailangan kung magdadalaman kayo ng phone sa loob, i-silence nyo na. Pero, sa akin, hindi ko na dinala. Kasi, you know, obedience. Charlotte, hindi 
ko lang talaga siya dinala para iwas hassle na din para mas para mabilis lang din yung process ano. Pila ka kung meron pila tapos pagpasok, i-check in kayo ng officer or security officer sa loob para bigyan kayo ng number. So pagpas, pag-check in, provide niya yung appointment letter at saka yung ID or any um, anong tawag doon? Any IDs. Yung akin, I provided my driver's license. And I also have with me, just in case, hanapan pa ako ng more ID. Or, you know, any proof, identity proof. I also brought with me my passport. Pero hindi na ako hininga ng passport. Ano lang talaga. Appointment letter, blah, appointment letter and my driver's license. Pero nakalagay din doon, pwede nyo dalhin yung work permit nyo passport at any natu natural what nationality id or national id something like that military id driver's license any state issued ids yo pag check in bibigyan kayo ng number tapos bibigyan kayo ng instructions na may fill up kayo yung first page na form so it's just basic information about yourself yung name niyo yung any other names like let's say kung mabae ka tulad ko um, your maiden names yun lalagay nyo tapos date of birth country of birth country of nationality I mean country of citizenship gender race kung Asian Caucasian um, so on and so forth hair color eye color height weight yon so Yun lang, mga basic information lang. Tapos, after nun, hintay-hintay lang natawagin yung number. And then, when they called me, I provided them the forms. Kasi, i-clip yun together with the number. And then, the ID that you provided during the check-in. Tapos, yun, kinuhanan ako ng picture. And then, finger fingerprint. So, yun lang naman talaga yung biometrics. Pictures and at saka, fingerprint. Same lang din siya nung, ano, biometrics appointment ng adjustment of status ko. Yun. And guys, advice ko lang din as much as possible, kung may pag-iiwanan kayo, let's say, meron kayong mga chikiting, mga babies, wag niyo nang isama. I mean, advice ko lang naman to, pero pag wala naman talagang pag-iiwanan, syempre, no choice, dadalhin niyo talaga. Nasasama niyo talaga yung mga chikiting niyo, pero pag may magpag-iiwanan kayo, i um, ano na lang, i- pa-babysit nyo na lang sila sa mapag-iiwanan nyo kasi ma madali lang. But anyway, I I'm a mother as well so I understand naman na nangwari, nangangarag ka na kasi nga may anak kong dala, ganito, ganyan. But yeah, advice lang naman yon So, but there's nothing wrong if wala talaga kayo mapag-iiwanan or unless kasama nyo yung asawa nyo na makapag magbabantay sa baby nyo habang no kuhanin kayo ng picture at saka yung fingerprint. So, yun lang. I think it took me less than 30 minutes. Yes. Hindi masyadong ganun katagal. Sobrang mabilis lang talaga. Matagal lang yung pag, pag dadaldal ko dito. Yeah. Listen to guys. Lagay ko lang tong glasses ko and set my GPS kasi hindi ko alam pa away. Starting route to proceed to the route. My glasses kasi hindi ako nakakita masyado. Yan. Ewan ko kung anong ganap today but I'll see you guys later.